what is going on everybody welcome back to another video today i'm going to be mixing it up a little bit i'm actually taking my paddleboard out today and i'm going to see if i can catch some redfish on it it's going to be a big test of my balance but i'm excited to try something new so let's get out on the water so there's actually no floating dock attached to this main dock which means that i have to take my paddleboard throw it off of the main dock get down into the grass and mud and then situate everything so hopefully this won't be too difficult i also have to keep my eye on the weather today because it's really nice on this side but then over here, it's much more sporty, so I'm hoping this weather will stay away. All right, y'all, we did it. We are out on the water. I've got everything that I need. Now we have to do the hardest part of this trip, and that's catching bait. Oh gosh, rod's going in. Yikes. Got a couple finger mullet, though. <laughs> this is tough, this is tough, but I'm accepting the challenge. Those are our first baits right there. All right, y'all, so I just nailed a school of mullet. So we have the mullet that we need for this outgoing tide. And once it becomes low tide, I'm gonna go cast net a little bit more and see if I can find some shrimp. But for now, let's go find the first dock we wanna fish. All right, everybody, so we've just made it to the first dock of the day. And all I'm using is a Carolina rig. I've got a one ounce egg sinker, about a foot and a half of 20 pound fluorocarbon. And then for my bait, I've got a big old mullet head. So let's send it out there. Let's see what we got here, guys. First fish of the day. A little red. Yes, sir, that's what I like to see. Gotta start somewhere, right? There he is, just a little guy, but super cool little catch. Go get a little bigger, bud. There we go. Yes, bigger fish. This is probably a slot size. Yeah, whoa, he's actually bigger than I thought he was. Nice, we're on him. This is great. Oh, he's a beautiful fish. Nice. About an 18, 19 inch red right there. Come here, boy. What are you doing? Gosh, very feisty. He does not want anything to do with me. Yes, great fish. Nice red right there, y'all. That's a beautiful fish, slot size. Let's let him back down. Oh man, <laughs> it went between my legs. Got him. Nice fish. Nice fish. Yes, sir. This is great. Big boils. Yes. Great fish. Killing them. We've got them tuned in on this dock, guys. That's another beautiful fish. Come here, fish. All I'm doing is just casting to the left of this dock and then letting the tide take my bait all through the structure. And that has proven to be very effective. All right, fish. Man, what a healthy fish. All right, guys, we are getting it done. That is a beautiful redfish, probably around 20 inches. Let's let him go and get some more. This is insane. There he goes. It looks that the bite has slowed down a good bit at this dock, so I'm gonna take advantage of this low tide and go see if I can cast net some shrimp. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a tiny little sea trout. Pretty cool. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, we slayed him. Yes, sir. That's all the bait we need. I got probably 50 shrimp in that cast. I am feeling very good right now. We are just approaching our second dock to fish today, and I have tons of shrimp, so I think we're gonna kill them. Ooh, <laughs> they're here. Got him. Get out of there. Nice fish. Yes. <laughs> Insanity, dude. Fall fishing is the best. Oh, beautiful fish. This might be the biggest one. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. I love fall. October is probably my favorite month of the year. Check them out, another perfect, beautiful specimen of a redfish. I just can't believe how insane this bite is. They are just biting anything that I throw at them. It is unbelievable. Just a perfect fish. Got him. Yes. Another one. Dude, this is insane. Oh, my reel's acting a little funky. I dropped it in the water on accident, and now it's tightening up. Not the right time, reel. Yes, sir. Come here, boy. Y'all know the drill by now. Next cast, next red, baby. So many fish today. There he goes. Oh my gosh. Ooh, on the paddle board. This feels different. Is this like a stingray? Oh, this feels weird. This feels really weird. God, don't be a stingray. Oh, cool. Isn't that a giant sheep's head? Or like a black drum? Oh, it's a really nice sheep's head. That is sick. That's really cool. This is actually like a pretty giant sheep's head. Look at that sucker. Wow. Man, that is sweet. Dang. Oh, he just broke the line. Actually, I think his teeth cut the line. That is a clean cut. Must have got on his teeth. That's unfortunate. I really wanted to show you guys that sheep's head. That was probably around a four pound sheep's head. One of my biggest, actually. I don't catch too many big sheep's head, but that was really cool. Maybe there's another one. Oh my god. It wouldn't be a day on the creek without an oyster toadfish, that's for sure. 
All right, y'all, so I'm currently being eaten alive by bugs, and it is so uncomfortable. They are just destroying me, so I'm going to find a new spot where there's hopefully not as many bugs, and if the bugs are still bad, then I'm going to call it a day. All right, y'all, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. These bugs are getting the best of me. I am being violated, and they're showing no mercy. So I'm going to call it a day, but I always have a great time out in the marsh. You can't beat a nice afternoon of paddle boarding and fishing for reds. Also, we are on the road to 300 subscribers, so if y'all could do me a huge favor and support the channel by hitting that subscribe button, that would really help me out, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.